Hey there, my name is Provis, and welcome back to Vampire Survivors. Yeah, I know, I didn't really expect to come back to this game either, and yet here we are. I released a video for this game when it first came out because I thought it was something kind of special and unique, taking the idea of the bullet hell and turning it on its head where if you can survive long enough, you become the bullet hell and mow down tens of thousands of enemies. And in that time, since that video, the game has continued to receive overwhelmingly positive reviews. It's actually received quite a few updates I wasn't even aware of until recently. And it's kind of started off its own genre of copycat games that people are calling Bullet Heavens. Really a phenomenally successful game. And in my opinion, still one of the best bang for your buck games you're ever going to find on Steam. Five bucks for the base game and two dollars for DLCs where you can easily spend tens of hours playing it in an arcade fashion. It's just a really, really good deal. But with a new DLC that just released as of this week called Tides of Fiskari, we see that some new stuff has been introduced into the game, including eight new characters and I think 15 new weapons. I've only got one of the new characters unlocked, but I thought we'd go ahead and try it out today. Eleanor Uzeron is going to be our hero of choice, and the new map is Lake Fiskari, down over here. An enchanted forest with fey mysteries and mythological entities. Less vampire and more just an adventurer story where things are totally not going to go wrong at all, right? The gameplay is pretty much exactly the same as it used to be. We still kind of move around trying not to get hit by the hordes of monsters that want to hug our face. And we kill things to gather up the experience points so that we can level up, get new weapons and secondary items that are going to make us a heck of a lot stronger. Do I want the cross or the whip? I think the whip is an easier choice at the beginning of the game because it's going to help us make sure we can clear out enemies that are close by. But then we'll kind of figure out where we want to go from there. How about the cross next? I think I do like that one. The game really does come down a lot to uh, knowing what weapon types are going to kind of synergize well with each other, what secondary items you need to pick up in order to synergize, etc. Now, for the most part, as we move around, we just keep killing enemies and stuff and dodging. You know, it's, it's exactly what you'd expect, and we could just stay in this one area probably for the entire game, and as long as we're really skilled at dodging, we'd be able to survive and eventually win. However, some new stuff was added into the game since the last time I played, which kind of changes things up a little bit. If I hit the escape button, we're going to open up a map. Oh my gosh, there's actually a map with things to explore and items to uncover. We can actually go places and try to pick up some cool stuff. So for example, here's a whole load of luck to make it more likely for me to actually get things whenever I loot chests. I like this. Maybe instead of staying in one place, we should consider moving somewhere and actually picking that stuff up. That said, there's a lot of experience. Let me go ahead and grab some of this here first, and then we'll start heading over to the left and see if we can pick some good stuff up. So I'm going to try not to die along the way. Now, a new special type of weapon that was introduced with this character is called Spell String. You probably already saw it in action. It kind of functions a little bit like the wand, except it seems to immediately attack nearby enemies, and if they have low enough health, it instantly kills them. So it kind of homes in. It's a little bit faster than the wand itself. Now, this character at level 10 is automatically going to be getting an upgrade for this weapon type, and it's going to take up a second weapon slot. Same thing with a th uh, level 20, you're going to have a third one. If you can level them up all the way, you actually evolve it into one super weapon, and that hopefully is going to unlock a lot of other new stuff for us. I actually haven't tried that, so I don't know. Hollow Heart, I'm going to go ahead and pick this up because I know that it's going to work well with the whip if we can get the whip up to level 8. We'll be able to evolve this thing and get a lot of extra damage out of that, and a lot of the game does come down to that. I'm just going to go ahead and keep moving to the left over here, and you know, just kill things on the way, gather some experience, and we'll try to get those uh, lucky clovers. There's one right there, in fact. Hooray! More luck for me. Nice. Now, if you want to unlock the Eleanor character, uh, you actually will find that there's a question mark up on the map over in this direction. First time you jump into this map, go up there, kill a bunch of the mushroom people guards, and a coffin will open, and she'll come out. And then you'll be able to use her for pretty much everything else. So if you want to get this character, that's what you do. There's another one of those clovers. We'll grab one of those if we can. There we go. A little bit more luck for me. Now, if you don't remember, this game does have kind of a roguelike element to it. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and pick up another upgrade for the spell string, um, where if you continue to die, um, you'll eventually gather up gold and stuff, and you'll be able to use that back to the main map in order to upgrade some of your characters so you have stronger starting stats, making it easier to get into the next run. And I actually played this for at least another three or four hours or so, just in preparation for this video, since I had lost all my progress before. So I've got a lot of those power ups now. Uh, yes, by the way, there are these loot chests. Uh, most of the time, they only give you one item. Sometimes they give you three, and very rarely they'll give you five. And that's a really fun uh, feeling right there. Hmm, do I want any of these? I have to be careful not to pick up too many weapons, or else we're not going to have room for my spell stringer when it upgrades. So I have to pick up some secondary weapons and kind of bank on what I want to get in the future. We'll take some spinach. I don't think that's ever going to be a bad idea. And if we keep going... Wait, we lost something back. Oh, crap! Oh, dang it! All the way down here, we actually did not pick up our upgrade 
for the Spell Stinger. Hang on, we need to go get that. That's a second weapon. If we miss that, we're not going to be able to evolve this thing to its final form, and that would be terrible. So let's get all the way back down over here. Where are you? You're down over this way. How did I miss that? That seems so stinking important. I don't know. There it is. All right, let's go ahead and pick you up. Get this. Boom, all right. Now it's going to send out some extra special kinds of weapon forms. Uh, these kind of explodey things you're seeing, like that little blue sprites over there. So now we can take on larger groups of enemies with more AoE damage. That's good. An upgrade for my duplicator. That's fantastic, actually. That's going to get me one more projectile. You can only upgrade this thing twice, but uh, firing off lots of projectiles are great. Pairs well with the lightning ring, if we can find that in the future. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. I don't know. We'll give it a shot. Uh, spell string level 5. Yes, please. I just need to get that up. All my spell string related weapons need to be leveled up as fast as possible so I'll be able to make space for some additional weapons once this thing evolves into its final form. Here's the clover. All right, I actually need this for the cross to get upgraded. So this is a fantastic pickup that I would want no matter what, even if it wasn't free on the map. This would be a very, very good get for me. Now, if you've not seen this game before, your goal ultimately is to survive for 30 minutes, which doesn't sound that bad um, until you realize that the game is going to be ramping up in difficulty rather dramatically, and there are going to be so many gosh dang enemies on the screen and so many sprites from your attacks. At some point, it's very easy to get kind of lost over here. <laughs> so you do really need to be paying attention to all that and uh, try to build your character accordingly. Uh, there are definitely optimal builds, right? If you, if you get the wrong types of items, you're just going to be making yourself have a really, really hard run later on. So I'm trying to be very conscious about what kinds of items I pick up, what I'm choosing, knowing what's going to synergize well in the future. Uh, I guess we can pick up some additional spinach. I don't want to pick up extra weapons. I just want to continue upgrading what I've already got. All right, there's my next thing, Spell Strike. All right, so that's going to take up another one of my weapon slots. So anything else we pick up from here, we can feel relatively okay about. I need to get this thing leveled up as quick as possible. I think the goal is to get all three of the special, unique Eleanor weapons up to level six, I think. And what then ends up happening is you want to find one of these chests by defeating a boss. If you have met all of the prerequisites, right, you've leveled up one of these weapons to their maximum, and you have the corresponding secondary item that helps it to evolve, this is where you'll be able to get the evolved form. In this case, you know, spinach is a good upgrade. It's still like 10% more base damage. Um, not going to be an evolution, but that's fine. I haven't gotten the requirements that I'm going to need for any of that stuff quite yet. Lots of enemies we can kill here. That's good. All right, we should probably find something else on the map and see where else we can go. There's a free item up over this direction. I think I'll end up saving that for uh, when we want to upgrade our spell stream. For that, then, I need to just level up a lot more. I need more XP. Getting something like the crown can be great because it gets you a lot of extra experience, or you can get the attractor orb, which uh, picks things up farther away. Um, I don't think I want to pick up any secondary items until I know what I'm getting for my extra weapons, so we'll hold off on that. Just keep looking around, grabbing more XP. Uh, as I said, a run takes 30 minutes, and in the interest of your time, I'm not going to have you watch the entire thing unless, you know, Stuff gets absolutely hectic and insane, so um, I'm just going to keep moving forward and doing some jump cuts in here, but seriously, this game is strangely addictive. Like, it really has no business being as fun as it is, and yet, I, I have to say, it's it's just so well done. For a simple arcade style game, you really can just sink hours into this. You'll get like 20 minutes into a run, you're feeling really good about yourself, and then everything suddenly goes down, you're like, ah, crap! All right, I can do it one more time. One more try, one more try. And then all of a sudden, guess what? Four hours have gone by. I'm not even kidding. That sort of thing absolutely can't happen. It's a simple yet strangely effective game. I really do enjoy this, like, a lot. I've always liked that this game has a lot of Castlevania kind of elements to it, by the way. I mean, between, like, the weapons and stuff like that, we talked about this when the, the game first came out, but there's a lot of uh, very clearly Castlevania-inspired elements to it which I personally think is really, really fun to it. But what they're doing now with the last DLC, which is kind of uh, Japan-oriented, and this new one here, which is obviously kind of more of an adventurer, classic high fantasy sort of, uh, for, sort of a theme to it, they're changing that up just a little bit. Now, a lot of that basic Castlevania stuff still exists because it kind of has to to have the right types of weapons and stuff. But, I mean, it's really cool. I, I like that they're trying to branch out. Spell Strike, trying to level that up a bit further. I was tempted to pick up the Ebony Wing for a minute because, as we discovered in the last uh, last time I played this game, um, the White Dove and the Ebony Wing, I'm not going to try to mispronounce the uh, White Dove's name again, uh, really underrated powerful combination. Stupidly good, seriously. Hey, Floor Chicken. Yeah, I know, I know. Again, Castlevania-inspired themes. Floor Chicken instead of Wall Chicken? That's hilarious. 
All right, we're actually getting swarmed pretty badly here. I need to be careful. I can regenerate a little bit of health, and if I can upgrade my uh, whip, it's going to get a lot better. But we got to be careful not to get swarmed like this. This is where things can start to go wrong. And if this looks like it's a really hectic and there's a lot going on the screen now, oh, honey, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's going to get a lot worse. If I want to find some more floor chicken, I can see that there is going to be a fair bit up this direction. Ooh, there's also an academy badge. I need to pick that up because we hit level 30. So now I got to brave the storm, run down through here, hopefully punch through and find a good path. There it is. Uh, level 5, we'll pick that up. All right, let's get the academy badge. Provides bonus, amount, and revivals in exchange for growth. What does this mean? I haven't got a dang clue, I'm not going to lie. Honestly, that's kind of part of the fun of the game, though, you know? It's supposed to be one of those things where, like, you go into it not knowing what is going to trigger the evolution, so you try lots of different mixes and matches. There's the upgraded whip. I don't know why you didn't show up last time, but here you are. At least we've now got this for us, the bloody tear. Perfect. Anyway, um, obviously the game's been around long enough that, like, for the base form, people know what they're looking for, but... There it is. All right, so what do we want here? Um, I, I don't want any of these because... Well, I guess I could take a weapon, but I really would rather not. We could get this one. It was so good last time. It does a ridiculous... You know what? Do I do it? I'm doing it. We're taking this thing. All right, the white bird is back. If we can get the ebony wing, it's another weapon type. We don't have any more weapon slots, so I am counting on eventually evolving the form of this uh, character's special three weapons into one single version. But if we can get them all upgraded, holy crap, are we going to be a DPS powerhouse? You'll see. The game's taunting me. I've had like a couple more level ups and still no sign of that last upgrade. There it is! Spell strike. All right. In theory, then, all three of the spell st uh, special types of weapons are upgraded. I think that means we should be able to get a special evolution for these very soon. So now we got to hope that another boss shows up soon, or we can make a beeline for this chest to just kind of force the issue. And honestly, I think that's not a bad plan. We'll pick up the XP along the way. But off we go. I think I like with some of the new maps that it does kind of encourage you to move and like go explore places instead of just kind of wandering the same uh, constantly regenerating hallways you're used to or staying in one particular spot, right? Like there's an incentive to move around. That's a boss right there. Actually, oh, there we go. All right. Let's see if this gives me what I was hoping for. I've never tried this before with this character. Um, I want to know how powerful it is. There it is. All right. So we got a special evolved form. First off, does it free up some of these weapon slots? I'm counting on it. Union of all three grows stronger after every singularity. And holy crap! Okay. Oh my god! Wow! Okay. Yeah, and it did free up some weapon slots. This is good. Me likey. Oh yes, me likey. Me likey a lot. What kind of freaking horrendous demigod power have I just unleashed? This is insanity. Oh my god. If we can get this mixed with, uh, with the white bird and the ebony dawn... <laughs> We're gonna be insane! Actually insane! Alright, um, let's go ahead and start getting uh, this one upgraded. And I also picked up um, a couple of different buffs, including frame, Flame Breath, for at least a little while. Some of these power-ups are pretty nice, honestly. Look at all these mushroom people. I also like that by going to a totally different region of the map, new types of enemies spawn. Like, that's cool, dude! Whoa! All right, I'm gonna open up this treasure chest, but did you see the giant weird spiral thing happening behind me? Oh, and we got an upgrade for the cross, too. That's actually fantastic. That thing's really good. I've got three evolved weapons already, and it's only been 13 minutes. That's freaking amazing. Um, this thing. Wow. Yeah, I don't know what this weird singularity thing is. All I know is it's freaking awesome, and I love it. The screen's starting to get a little chaotic, though, by the way. So if you're seizure prone, um, don't play this game or watch this video. <laughs> Please stop. I don't like any of these options. I really need that ebony wing. I'm gonna try a reroll. Oh gosh. Um, all right, we can pick up the fire wand and that will go well with spinach. We know that. Um, either that or lightning ring, but I need to leave a slot open to get something like the ebony wing or else the white dove is not gonna work the way I want it to. It's a very high risk, high reward weapon. Still really good even uh, if you don't get it, but like seriously, it's so stupidly powerful if you can get the ebony um, wing as well. Fire, okay, we're getting a lot of level ups all of a sudden. I'm not too sure what's happening, but we're getting there. Uh, so I'll just keep enjoying all that. Apparently we stopped onto a complete total mother load of XP. Holy crud, holy crud, holy crud. There's so much happening on the map right now. Like I want this lightning ring, but I can't pick it up. If I do, I'm not gonna have the space I need. And if we can get the ebony wing to uh, pair off with the white dove, They'll eventually evolve together if I can level them up all the way and become one weapon, which opens up another weapon slot. So I'm like, I'm really trying for this, but I've only got one reroll left. 
I may not get lucky here. And if I don't, it's fine. I mean, obviously, we're not hurting for some damage right now. But, I mean, I, I, out of principle, I'd like to get the really cool stuff. Well, I can get the Fire Wand up to level 8. And there's actually already a treasure chest right here. So we should be able to evolve this thing immediately into some meteors that travel through enemies and do a stupid amount of damage. That's going to be a pretty good addition for us. Okay, so our AoE potential at long range is amazing right now with the addition of Hellfire. You should be able to see some meteors. There they go. Off they go. These things are really good in and of their own right. Combined with everything I've got right now, like, it's almost like nothing can touch me. Okay, much stronger enemies starting to get in here now. Um, even with all this DPS, they're starting to out-survive some of what I'm hitting them with. Which is a little scary, and the fast-moving ones are even scarier, because they can push some of the big guys into you and do a stupid amount of damage. So, uh, this is where, all of a sudden, this game starts getting harder again. Even though I'm doing really well, I'm not out of the woods. And by the time we get to 30, um, ooh, gold fever. Okay, well, a stupid amount of gold is now appearing. This is amazing. Anyway, <laughs> um, by the time we get to 30 minutes, I'm literally not even going to have room to breathe. Ebony wings! Yes! All right! All right! We found the scene! That was a huge risk and investment on my end, but we've got it! Oh, if I could get this sucker up and running, you're all doomed! Okay, only three more levels to go on the Ebony Wing here, and then these things will be able to evolve. Um, I filled out all my secondary slots, which actually means I can now run around and grab things like the Bracer, the Crown, the Armor, and stuff like that. And I'm not going to have to uh, worry about it taking up a valuable slot, because it's actually just going to go in addition to everything I've already got. So now's a great time to abandon our hunting grounds that we've been using so far and go adventuring for some more loot. There's a bracer. Perfect. I'll go ahead and grab that, increasing projectile speed by an extra 10%. Nice. I'll tell you what. I wanted to save this for later with the extra XP, but this is going to help me catch up a lot more in a second. There's an attract orb. I'll pick that up. What the heck are you? What is this thing? I, found, I, don't, I don't even know what this is. I just found something. I don't know what this crystal is. Uh... How do I open it? How do I... I don't know. All right. Well, we're getting a stupid amount of XP now. Um, because it just... Oh, yup, yup, yup. I get it. Okay, yup. I get it. There's a lot of stuff happening. Thank you, Attract Orb. I don't know what you do with this. I feel like we have to come back with a special character with a certain weapon type. And we may not have unlocked that character yet. So, maybe that's a thing to do for another run. In case you haven't noticed, there's a lot going on on the screen right now. Lots of, uh, death beams from my little birds that are following me around, which is great. But we're about to make them a heck of a lot better. Ooh, triple again. Let's see if we can unlock these into the Vandalier, which is going to become even better. You'll see in just a second. There it is! Combine the birds into one weapon. This actually opens up another weapon slot, which is fan flip fantastic. Unite them together, and now they're going to start doing tons of damage. Look at the rainbows. You, see the, you can barely see it. There's some circles going around my character representing where they're going to be shooting. And, um, yeah, they're going to lay waste to literally everything in sight. Honestly, I, this used to be the most powerful weapon in the game once combined. Now, I have no idea. I'm very aware, by the way, that this is probably really, really hard to follow on YouTube. And that's actually the main reason I don't play the game on the channel pretty much ever, actually. Except that one time. Because while I definitely like this game, and I honestly think it's really, really well done. Um, it's definitely kind of a strain on the eyes, as you've noticed. And as the player, I know what I'm looking at. As you, as the viewer is probably more than a little bit hectic. Um, I, there, are, there are barely words to describe the pandemonium that's going on right now. Question is, what do I want for my next weapon since we just freed up a slot? Um, I would love to get the lightning ring if that becomes an option since I've already got what I need for it. Uh, or actually the magic wand will work fine. I've already got what I need for that to evolve as well. Sure, why not? All right, magic wand works and, oh yeah, um, always upgrade the vandalier if you can. Just more, more area of damage. Yeah, it, it's stupidly good. Oh, I just got five! Yes! Yeah! All right, fireworks go off. Oh, I know it only looks like three right now. It's about to be five. This is one of those moments, like, it, it, it unlocks the, the monkey dopamine brain kind of thing, and it's like, ooh, I got that good stuff. Five <laughs> upgrades for the wand, holy frick. Yeah, we're gonna get this thing to evolve in no time flat. Holy crud, all right. And the crazy thing is I'm gonna make myself even stronger and or richer in a second. I'm trying to find that crown. There is a maze that I've got to navigate, which uh, admittedly is a little bit tricky. Where Where is the crown? I can see it. It's supposed to be nearby. Um, crown? Where's the crown? Crown! There's the crown! All right, that's 8% more experience. So now we'll level up really fast, too. I mean, there's not much to level left, but that's beside the point. It's the principle of the thing, dang it. Remember what I was saying about becoming the bullet hell? Uh, that, that's absolutely what's happening right now. 
We've killed 24,000 enemies. Um, and it's only... Oh my gosh. Yeah, there they go. They're, they just exploded. Um, we've killed 24,000 enemies, and I've still got five minutes to go. Also, where are they all? They stopped spawning all of a sudden. What's happening? Okay, something weird is happening on this map. I should probably be a little afraid. Oh, it's a special boss. Hi, special deer boss thing. How long are you gonna last? A uh, pretty long time, it turns out. You've actually got a lot of HP. God, can you even see the deer boss I'm talking about? There's so many numbers going off. It looks like an elk with some sort of an energy orb between its antlers. Gosh, this thing actually has a lot of HP. It's, it's holding on, man. It really is. Well, we can take a break from that action for a second, because I think we're about to get an upgrade for the Holy Wand. There it is. So now this thing is going to be like a non-stop pew-pew at the nearest enemy. So we have things to keep us away at close distance. The whip will do that job too. Plus we have extremely good long-range distance. The Vandalier is killing everything in its path. And, of course, our ultimate form with this character. Jeez la freaking wheeze. We are stupidly strong. With all that said, though, this deer thing still ain't dead. Gosh dang, how much health does it dang have? I don't even know. Oh my gosh, another fiver? <laughs> We're lucky today. Turns out the clover's pretty good. I don't even think there's much to upgrade. It's probably just gonna start giving me a lot of free money at this point. No, yeah, there we go. We finished upgrading the Vandalier, so now that's in its final form as well. And this Academy Badge reduces my XP gain, but it means I fire more projectiles. And as you can imagine, if I'm now firing six extra projectiles from this thing, on top of everything else, like, holy freaking crud! Yeah, we've officially reached the point where leveling up is now unimportant. We can either get health or just add a little bit of extra gold onto our pile. The deer is finally gone! Good lordy, that took forever. But yeah, leveling up at this point is now a vanity project to get a little bit of extra money. Um, unless we can find some more items, and there are there is eye armor over here. We can get something new if we want to move all the way this direction, and I will. Um, but yeah, there's nothing else to level up. Therefore, just like free health and stuff. I mean, we've only got like a couple minutes left. So, um, I don't know if we can get to the armor in time to do anything. Now, it's fun because when this game first came out, there really were only, like, I don't know, eight weapons in total, and, like, only six of them could evolve, and you could learn it all pretty easily, and it was pretty fun. They've added so much with the game now in terms of both DLCs and just some of the regular updates. Like, there's a lot now. There really is. There's a lot in this game. Ah, however, I think we're starting to reach the point where I can't really go much further than I already have. Um, you can't see what's going on because there's so much happening, but we are surrounded by nothing but high HP bosses now. Um, so we kind of just have to hold our ground for the next two minutes, I think. Gosh, can we get out of here enough that I can, like, get to a slightly more aesthetically pleasing visual area? Um, I'd like to move to, like, some grasses and trees. There we go. Maybe you can actually see some of the sprites as to what's going on over here. Freaking heck. Okay, we're actually taking some damage. I gotta be careful here. Gotta be real careful. There's still some floor chicken here and there. But if I am not paying attention, and it's really hard to see because there's too much going on, uh, I could still easily die here. I really could. Um, we just gotta hold out for about one minute. One minute. That said, we're still keeping a really nice open area around our character. You guys may remember the first time I played this. By the end of it, we had this tiny little walking space, almost just the size of my character. Why did the enemies suddenly get a lot weaker all of a sudden? It's almost like they're giving me this. I'm somewhat suspicious all of a sudden. All these enemies are pushovers. Hold on. What happened in the last minute of the game that made this easy all of a sudden? I mean, I don't know. Maybe these enemies are not supposed to be as easy as they are, and the tanky ones are the only ones that give me trouble because I just do so much raw DPS. This is absolutely ludicrous. Um, definitely the most powerful character I've created so far. Three more seconds, two, one, and they're all dead, and here comes death. I mean, you can't see him because my birds are insane. <laughs> but yeah, Death himself just came by and killed us. You literally can never stop him. He will always get you. You will instantly die. Um, I, don't, I, I, I can revive right now just for fun. Uh, sure. I'll revive real quick. And then Death's going to come kill me again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> totally pointless, but still kind of fun. And we get a little extra bonus gold for doing that. I got 15,000 gold? 15,000? Thousand gold from this run? Jeez! And I actually unlocked a new character. All right, Maruto. Maruto, really? Okay. Well, um, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So now we have another character. This was the wizard character. Then there's gonna be a martial character. I just want to point out that Heaven Sword did 3.9 million damage, which is pretty awesome. Vandalier did 2.4 million. Hellfire 2.5. Spellstorm only 1.8. I'm amazed. Heaven Sword actually was the uh, MVP of that whole run. But yeah, wowzers. 
Wowzers! 30,000 enemies defeated. And with that money, what you would do now is go to your power-ups and spend it to unlock things. Uh, again, I had to start over because I lost all my progress since I had uninstalled the game since last time, but here we are. What is this, by the way? Twice per rank allows you to remove an item from the level-up choices for the rest of the run. Well, that could be really good. Um, I got so much money, I can basically upgrade, well, actually not everything, but a lot of things. Wow, 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 wow. Let's go to our characters real quick and just unlock Maruto. And like I said, there's eight new characters. Oh, this costs 5,000 gold. Holy crap. All right, never mind. There's eight new characters introduced with this DLC. Plus, I haven't even unlocked all the D uh, characters from the previous DLC. Plus, I'm pretty sure I'm still missing, like, a lot of weapons. All these question marks? Things that I have not unlocked yet. Yeah, this game's freaking huge, with more replayability with every update, and it's still only $5 for the base game and $2 per DLC. Like, this is just one of the best deals you're gonna get on Steam. It's a lot of arcadey fun, I just can't recommend it enough. Really, really fun game. Thank you all very much for watching, hope you enjoyed, even if it was hectic. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, make sure you hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.